I just got done cutting my hair and there's a Goodwill down the street from the barbershop. So let's come in here and check it out real quick. See if we can find some stuff to flip and make some money. Check this out. There's this uh, like folding camping chair. It's $14.99. This is about like a $100 chair. There's nothing so like on eBay any used comps but new this chair is about like 100 bucks so i'm just gonna take it for myself you know these tables remind you like of elementary school 800 bucks for our lunch table check out this scale made in the usa detecto I looked it up on eBay, but I didn't find anything specific, but anything like this, vintage scales, selling for like 100 to 400 bucks. This is only $25, but it'd be probably crazy hard to ship. Pretty cool find though. Let's check out the shoes. Man, everything is like super empty here. I was looking at this Jimi Hendrix. It's like a distressed factory. It comes like that from the factory. It's a t-shirt. It's priced at eight bucks and there's one sold for 35. I can't find a whole lot of other comps on it. Lucky brand. I'm not sure if I should take it. So far, no luck, guys. I mean, I was looking at this Mexico. It's a Disney Parks Mexico shirt from uh, Epcot. It's priced at eight bucks. It should sell for like 15, but they don't sell that fast. I was also looking at this uh, Tyson Arizona Diamondback shirt. It's priced at six bucks. They're asking like 12 to 15 bucks on eBay. There is this uh, Nike UK shirt. It's like a polo shirt price at six bucks. Same thing. This one probably sold for like 20. But I was thinking about taking this one. I'm not going to take that Jimi Hendrix one. Maybe I'm making a mistake. I don't know. But there's really nothing to buy anymore at Goodwill. Also looking at this uh, Tommy, Hilf Tommy Hilfiger. It's a 4X. But it has no price. And I'm pretty sure they're going to ask like probably 15 bucks for it. This is a cool shirt. Disney Studio Collection. It's Donald and Mickey. It's a 2X priced at six bucks, but the last one sold for like $12. So there's a no-go right there. Check it out, this Tommy Bahama Polo, 13 bucks. Probably sell on eBay for like 15. No room at all. Check it out, there's three Tommy Bahamas here, three more, all $12.99. Tommy Bahama, where's all ones? Tony Bahama, $12.99, $12.99. These are all like $15 shirts on eBay. Check out these Levi's 5.11s. They're size 38. And they're priced at 20 bucks. They probably sell for like 25, 30. Uh, All right, so I found this lowrider trucker hat. Um, anything old school lowrider can go for a, you know pretty good money. It's only four bucks, and it could probably sell for like fifteen twenty dollars. Nothing crazy, but I love lowriders, so I'm gonna pick it up. Not for myself, but I'll post it up. Try to get twenty bucks for it. And we'll see what happens. So that's pretty much it, guys. I'm buying that chair for myself. This hat that I can probably get cleaned up. And list up for like 20 bucks. It's $4. Everything else is a bust. There's really, I mean, it's really hard to get stuff nowadays. All right, guys. So Goodwill was a bust. This Goodwill we stopped at was no good. 
Um, at least I didn't find anything. I'm pretty sure that, you know, there's tons of stuff in there, in there that somebody that knows what they're doing can flip. Um, I just look around and see what I could possibly find that I might be able to make some money on. Shopping at Goodwill for resellers and flipping is getting harder and harder. I mean, you know, I guess you just have to do your homework a little more and specifically look for the stuff that, um, or specifically look for stuff that, you know, maybe you know um, that sells if you already know. I just come and see, kind of like look around, whatever catches my eye, I look it up. Certain things that I already know um, that I've sold in the past are now way priced higher now, like Tommy Bahama shirts, any like polo shirt, anything like that, you they see it's automatically 13, 15 bucks. I mean, those things are still good things to sell on eBay if you find them cheaper. I found them before, like at yard sales for like three, 350. So that's the one I pick them up and I can sell them for like 15, 20 dollars. Lately, all the good ones that I walk into seem to be like super empty. It's not a lot of inventory. Um, you know, I've heard that Goodwill is actually like picking the stuff out and actually actually put them putting them up on auction themselves or. They actually have like eBay stores themselves that they're selling like the good stuff um, or putting like, you know, better stuff on, on their on their auction or website page. Um, you know, they're trying to get the most money they can from their donations. I don't know if that's why the stores are looking empty, but, you know, lately all the good ones that I walk into, the shoes are like just ran through super empty. Um, you know, the media cassettes, vinyl records, anything like that is just like super empty this like barely this store barely had like a little half a rack of jeans um it's just like the selection is starting to be like super low at goodwills lately i've had more luck at desert industry sometimes like salvation army too they pretty much price their things like straight up like you know shirts are this much sweaters are this much um goodwill really like nitpicks like and has people going through um the stuff whatever they can find that might resell for more they pick it out and take it out of the store regardless it doesn't mean that you can't make some money uh thrifting you know there's always money to be made they don't catch everything so it's all just about doing your homework i just happened to be close to this goodwill so i stopped by um i didn't find any like i mean like it wasn't a total fail i found me a chair it's 100 bucks i paid 15 bucks that's for myself and that lowrider hat um four dollars for four bucks um you know i'll post it up i'm sure it'll sell for like 15 20 bucks anyways guys um if you start if you've been thinking about starting a resale business or a little side hustle, don't let that discourage you. You go ahead and do that. You know, do your homework. Go out there and make some little extra money. You know, two or three, four, five hundred dollars a month extra, you know, comes in handy. It doesn't have to be like a super big business. If you've already subscribed to the channel, I really appreciate it. Go ahead and turn on your notification bell uh, so you don't miss any of the videos. If you're not subscribed, please go ahead and do that right now. It's totally free. It doesn't cost you a thing. That's one thing that's free, subscribing. So go ahead and do that right now. If you like the video also, please give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment. Even if it's an emoji or whatever, or feedback, criticism, whatever it is, drop me a comment. It helps the algorithm. Thumbs up, drop me a comment, send it to somebody you think might like it. See you guys next time. Picking for the low.